So Marshall, uh, in final, final thoughts, I have been a fan of your book, The Earned Life, and I have this pleasure of talking to you about that also. So in your own, um, in your own way, share some pearls of wisdom from this amazing book, The Earned Life, that you've written. Well, a couple of thoughts. One thought I'm going to share is called Credibility Must Be Earned Twice. And this has been an interesting experience since I've written the book. I've done lots of seminars about it. And my big selling book, What Got You Here Won't Get You There. And mm -hmm. I'll do a counterpoint. Mm -hmm. uh, credibility must be earned twice. Well, Peter Drucker taught me our mission in life is to make a positive difference, not to prove we're smart and not to prove we're right. Now, he also said every decision in the world is made by the person who has the power to make the decision, make peace with that. Not the smartest person or the best person or fair person, who has the power to make the decision, makes the decision. This is life. Mm -hmm. Then he said, if I need to influence you and you have the power to make the decision, there's one word to, in, to define me. And that word is called salesman, salesperson. <laughs> and you're a customer. Well, as you talked about, the customer doesn't have to buy Mm -hmm. salesperson has to sell. The salesperson has to sell. The customer doesn't have to buy. You got to sell. Well, these lessons most people never quite understand. Mm -hmm. This is true, by the way, not just outside the company. It's true inside the company with decision makers. The CEO, whoever the boss is, they're decision makers. Now, back to credibility must be earned twice. One dimension of the credibility matrix is, back to the Peter Drucker's words, making a positive difference. This behavior is going to help me make a positive difference. Mm -hmm. The second one is called promoting myself. I'm promoting my ideas, myself, I'm selling. And then we have high and low, we form four boxes. The first one is called, I'm not trying to promote myself, and it's good because it wouldn't help me. It's called letting go. My friend Alan, a great example. Someone asked him a question, what's your suggestion? You know what he says? Is there anyone else in the Ford Motor Company who could answer this question better than me? If there is, I probably should not be speaking. Good. So what do you do? he's not trying to sell himself and he should not be trying to sell himself. He'd do more harm than good. He's never been in a car company. How does he know, right? Yeah, yeah. Now the second box is largely represented in my book, What Got You Here Won't Get You There. It's about me coaching CEOs. Mm -hmm. And their biggest challenge tends to be overselling, mm -hmm. winning too much adding too much value, trying to be right, arguing, proving your points, basically overselling themselves. And I teach them, look, you don't have to prove yourself. You're already the CEO. Quit doing that. And it's hard mm -hmm. for these successful people not to do that because they've been right. for so much. 